Running in now from your left hand side, please welcome Turbo in the Typhoon. And on such a day, you'll see the uh, full uh, display from uh, David Turnbull here today. A magnificent opportunity to really show off the uh, amazing agility of this aircraft. Pulling his first set of 9G just to get the whole display started there at the end of that run in. And then uh, going into uh, a double corkscrew off the tail end of a barrel roll. Just uh, that's just the start, the first minute. Uh, just so much more yet to come. I was talking about the difference between Generation 1 and the current generation of uh, fighter aircraft, and you can see the difference. This you know, is uh, 10 times more capable in so many different ways to that little vampire you saw about an hour or so ago. But being able to do it in such a small block of airspace is quite remarkable. All helped by a few onboard computerized uh, systems as well, the little canards flicking away at the front end, you'll see them darting about at slower speed later on. Helped out by so much onboard systems, of course, head-ups, helmet-mounted displays, and a little lady on board as well, sometimes nicknamed Barking Betty, uh, just to ensure that uh, he keeps uh, it's in safe territory. Luckily, the pilot of this standard, of course, wearing the latest in G suppression equipment as well. That is enabling him to withstand these high G maneuvers that are going on in front of you. Pretty much everything from his uh, feet up to his chest is uh, an array of equipment helping him to uh, breathe and relax properly. He's not hearing very much of this uh, a jet blast, of course, he's sitting in a very comfortable uh, cockpit up the sharp end where he uh, is able to fight the fight. And I say that because, of course, you've got to remember that all these guys, instructors as they are, busy people as they are, they still have to do QRA, the quick reaction alert, which is being available 24 hours a day to protect the uh, coastline and the territory of the United Kingdom. Going through a lovely slow roll here, and it's a big beast, big heavy aircraft, this. Hanging in his straps momentarily. Another barrel roll there, very, very gracefully indeed. Recapturing the speed now with a stick way back. He's only doing about 110 knots, an extraordinary feature of an aircraft uh, that can fly at such supersonic speeds. Transferring right back from high energy and high performance to be hardly moving at all. Get close up there with your binos and the cameras, you'll be able to see those canards at the front end working away. But he can't, even if he were to try and force it, uh, the computerized system would uh, help maintain this in safe, stable ground. So just put a bit more power on in just a minute or so, take it up into a 
no energy, no speed loop. Or not. <laughs> Here it goes right now. Pulling it back out now. We're putting it just a, a neat little 450 degrees. Not easy doing that at all, of course, as you push away from yourself, the blood going entirely the wrong direction towards your head, very, very hard to control. And then, of course, increasing that uh, by pushing up into that uh, negative G maneuver. Coming out of half Cuban. It's now what we call a max rate turn. That's turning the aircraft as fast through the compass as you can. And just what a wonderful uh, finale. This is going to be using all that energy and power there, putting in a couple of extra rolls. One last big 9G uh, turn here. Cracking rounds the uh, circuit. this there'd be nothing better or more pleasing to put a smile on a typhoon pilot's face than being given enough altitude to come straight at you pull up into another high g climb and go all the way to heaven and back ladies and gentlemen the typhoon display from flight lieutenant david turnbull